Hello my purple banditos and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we finished off the Snowbell Gym, defeated its leader Wolfric and obtained the Iceberg Badge. In today's episode we're going to continue our adventure and we are ready to make our way to Victory Road. Yes, it's actually come down to that point and uh, it's going to be crazy, you know. It's coming down to the last few battles, the last few moments and like Wolfric told us, we're ready. He seems like we're, you know, he told us that we seem pretty well prepared. And I also believe that our team's very well prepared too. So if I'm correct, it's actually out here through this west exit, which if you guys remember, we actually took accidentally. Dare me away. We walked by here. Oh goodness. I don't want to battle you. Please. Oh yes. Yes. One more time. I don't want to battle you. We, oh mother fudge. There's a set of dudes over here or a dude and a girl. All right. So today basically... I'm going to try to skip as many battles as possible. I'll probably go back and battle them myself, but from what I've been told, Victory Road is actually very, very long, especially in this game. So I'm going to try my best to skip as many battles as possible. As you can see, there are still a few that I'm not going to be able to skip. There are a couple that are going to be tough. You know, you guys have told me a lot of good tips that, you know, a lot of these are going to be pretty difficult. And I'm just hoping that, honestly, we can pull it off. Now, let me go ahead and actually switch out. I don't want to take on this Pokemon with fox i think i'm gonna switch out to rio i don't know what type it is it looks to me like a fairy it almost looks like ice too an ice fairy is that what it could be no idea uh you know since we defeated the gym i haven't really trained up our team much uh i haven't done a whole lot with that but i probably will before we get to the elite four uh one of my goals is to actually get nessie to level up to the point where it will evolve so i'm guessing i'm gonna have to do that before the Elite Four. Now, I don't know if that's going to be on screen or not. Uh, because I am not sure what level exactly Nessie evolves and everything. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, to figure out, you know, when exactly it evolves. That sort of thing. Okay, so it looks like, you know, having Rio out here was a good call. We're doing quite well. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. For me, today is Saturday. And uh, things are going crazy. I'm getting prepared to move. And, you know, everything's going well so far. I'm actually really excited. Uh, you know, I'm back here. Um, at home for a little bit before I actually make the final move and I just can't believe that you know it's getting to the point where I'm gonna make a big difference uh, a big change in my life and I'm kind of just looking forward to it you know all right let's go for the aura sphere also you guys told me I know I had a little bit of a blonde moment that heal pulse actually doesn't heal us but heals the opponent therefore I have no idea why I got it uh, I suppose it could be good for a doubles battle, but it's not really something that I'm going to be using a whole lot here in singles. So kind of a, a dumbo mistake of mine, I guess, to have got that move. But you never know. We could end up going into some crazy doubles battles here very soon. And uh, you never know. Here on Victory Road, anything can happen, you know? All right, is that it? Nessie grew to level 37. Nice, nice, nice. Kingdra, son of a mother. Who am I going to use against a Kingdra? Hmm. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Rio out. Honestly, I don't know who I can use against a Kingdra. As you guys know right now, we actually have a type disadvantage to uh, certain Pokemon, especially water types. Water types seem to wreck our team uh, at this point of the game. And, uh, you know, it's going to make things a little more difficult. If you can see right now, water types can pretty, take pretty much take down every single member of our team. Let's just hope the Elite Four doesn't have a freaking water type. That would be... That would suck, honestly. It would kind of really suck if the Elite Four had a water type a member. I I'm just like hoping, crossing my fingers that it's something easy. Uh, as you guys know, it's a blind let's play. So I honestly don't know what's coming for the Elite Four. Uh, I have no idea who the Elite Four members are, what they do, all that sorts of stuff. And it's kind of just going to go into it. I'm kind of just going into it to see what happens. Wow, holy crap, this dude's doing so much damage. Let's mix things up a little bit with a bite. Maybe maybe we'll do something. Holy crap, I hate Kingdras. If you've ever known a Pokemon that I truly do hate, Kingdra is one of those. I just can't stand them. They're annoying. Uh, they make too much noise. I just don't like them whatsoever. Let's go for the power-up punch. I don't think we'll even do that much, honestly. Yeah, that's what I figured. Fantastic. All right, so Blastoise is going to go down. And now I'm going to have to switch out to someone else. So, let's see. Who's coming out? Who's coming out? Who's coming out? I'm going to bring out Fox. I know. Water type, whatever. Nothing much. We don't have really anyone else that can take this thing down, uh, in all honesty. If I can land maybe a Grass Knot, yeah, I mean, we might be able to take it down. 
I, I don't know any other way we're going to be able to do it. Um, it's going to go for the Scold. I think we'll be able to tank out one Scold at least. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So with that, we're going to take down the Kingdra, and we'll finally be able to proceed on. Holy crap. So as you can see, the battles are probably going to take a while, so I'm probably going to be skipping most of them, as uh, it might get frustrating here if we have to continuously keep battling people that are going to be this strong. And I honestly think our Pokemon at this point are a little bit under-leveled. So, you know, it's going to make things a little bit more difficult on us. Okay, so it seems like we've made it to the entrance of Victory Road, and all our A badges are being lit up. That's absolutely great. And the doors are opening. It feels like I'm entering the lost city of Atlantis or something. If you guys have ever seen that movie, like the Disney one, that's exactly what it feels like right now. I'm just, like, entering the lost city that has been gone. What the heck? Holy crap, that was absolutely amazing. What are they? How are they? I remember the old school Victory Roads. It was literally just a road. I mean, there was not more to Victory Road, but a huge, you know, road. It was like, it was like dirt and uh, caves and not, not much else to it. But in this one, there's like huge metallic doors that are created by who knows who and all this sophisticated stuff. It's going to be fun going through this one, huh? I've gone through a lot of uh, victory roads, but I feel like this one's going to be one of the tougher ones here. All right. I healed up our team. Let's proceed on then and see where this takes us. Uh, it seems like this is just the beginning. Holy crap. I feel like this is going to be a really long one, but I'm kind of excited for the challenge. I'm going to try to skip as many trainers as possible, but it looks like we have ourselves a battle. Alrighty, so easy does it. We have took down the first one. It looks like we're actually gonna have to teach someone strength uh, From what I can tell there seems to be a lot of boulders around here So I'm gonna have to teach strength to one of our Pokemon and I'm thinking I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that now Why not and you know, there's only a handful that can learn it right now, but I'm gonna teach it to Zula I, I am gonna get rid of it eventually uh, I can go back to the you know move the leader and with that I should be able to delete the move you know in the future anyways so i'm gonna get rid of power up punch for now because we do have the tm to that uh and i'm guessing you know the strength will be more important here uh in this place but you know i'll get rid of that move later for now we can continue on i also do want to use a repel before we go any further in this because i know pokemon are going to start popping out at us randomly who knows what level the pokemon are uh and things could get even crazier here it's gonna be tough man uh, even with that first battle i can already tell that things are just going to get a little bit crazy. I'm kind of looking forward to, you know, wrapping things up, though, and, and really seeing what Kalos is all about. Uh, I feel like this is one of the fastest games that I've ever progressed through, and uh, it's just it's kind of crazy how fast we've really made it through it. Okay, so it seems like there's a guy up there, and we have ourselves another battle. Well, there we have it. Another tough battle. Let's continue on then. And uh, this this is really one of the toughest freaking victory roads I've experienced so far. I'm not even sure where it is exactly I'm supposed to go at this point. I think it might be down this way. And you can even see, I have a repel out and we're still getting pelted by all these random Pokemon. I, I know, it's it's crazy that, that this is happening right now. I guess we are a little bit under leveled at this point of the game. Who would have thought? I probably should have trained our Pokemon a bit more, but I was just like, oh, you know, freaking, oh, is this the right way? I don't think it is. Um, I was like, oh, Ice-type gym. Oh, this should be an easy piece of nothing. Okay, I don't want to battle this guy, but I think it's down this way. There we go. There's the exit I've been looking for. Sweet. Okay, so now we've made it outside again, and I, I remember, I'm not trying to battle all these dudes right now. I'm just trying to make my way through this town peacefully, making my way through here. Do we have everyone healed up right now, too? Let me double check. 
Uh, everyone's looking good. Okay, just double checking because I know from what you guys told me, we have a lot of stuff coming up. And I know that somewhere in this, you know, victory road, there's going to be a rival battle that we're going to have to do. And I'm, I just want to make sure we're prepared for it because I don't know how far this victory road goes. Uh, I'm kind of just trying my best here to figure it out, guys. I'm just trying and, and going and, and seeing what happens around here, you know? It's, it's going to be one of those where I run around. If I can figure out where I'm going, fantastic. If I can't, then this is going to be a real freaking blast on all of us. Oh, we're inside of a cave, though. I should probably, probably put Blastoise up in front because I'm guessing there's going to be a bunch of ground type rock types all that sort of thing all right zula no 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 switch let's put you up in front okay now let's continue on here through this cave of doom i think i'm gonna have to push that but in order to push it yeah let's keep using the repels i'm gonna have to go over here is that what wait oh mother fudge i'm gonna have to battle this guy oh come on come on game don't make me battle this guy please ah mother fudge All right there, Psychic William. Thanks for getting in my way. If you were so psychic, you would know that we're going to be Pokemon League champions and that you battling me is just kind of delaying the inevitable. Let's push this rock then. Oh, you see those sparks? Never seen that in a Pokemon game before. And thank goodness Karate Man up there didn't challenge us. I really don't know what I would have. I would have probably flipped out if Karate Man started battling us. I would have been like, no. Please, just no. I'm not trying to battle any more trainers around here. I just want to make my way out. I just want to get into the sunlight, make my way to the Pokemon League. And I'm not trying to get in no battles, Girder. I'm not. Uh, Girder? Sounds like such a funny Pokemon name. Girder! Girder, come here, Girder! Oh, man. Are you serious? Can we sneak behind them? Oh, my gosh. If I can sneak behind them, I'm going to be such a per. Ah, oh, fudge. Here we go. Sweet. Acrobatics is such an awesome move. I'm glad we actually picked that one up. Now, where exactly do we go from here? I'm guessing somewhere up here. Sweet. All right. We found another exit. I think we're definitely headed in the right direction then. You know, we're, we're finding exits. We're going through them. We're doing our thing. Oh, goodness. I'm kind of nervous. I, I just... Oh, a little girl? Are you serious? Who made the little baby a, a guard? You evil, evil people. Whoever did that. Oh, you are evil. Okay. Pokemon Ranger. I think we might have to battle them, so let me go ahead and heal up. Uh, who do we have healed? Yeah, let me go ahead and heal up everyone. I I'm not about to go into a Pokemon battle without any, you know, help around here. This is just getting ridiculous, ridiculously out of control. Now, let's heal up our main man, Smarms. And now, we are ready to take on this Pokemon Ranger. Nothing? Alright, cool. I'll continue on then. Rodri, wait a second. I've been thinking ever since all that trouble in Geosenji. Lissandre chose one only Team Flair. You and I chose everyone but Team Flair. But since our positions forced our hands, you can't really say anything of us were right. That's why I feel that. If both sides have something to say, maybe it's best to meet halfway. So I made a decision. From now on, I don't want to battle just to win, but to see how you and your Pokemon think and feel. That's the kind of Pokemon battle I'm going to have with you right now. Here we go, Rodri versus our old friend and rival, Pokemon Trainer Serena. She only has five Pokemon, I guess kind of how we were before adding Nessie to the squad. And uh, it's going to start off quick, so let's get this going then. It seems like we are going to have a rival battle. Thanks to you guys who gave me the tips on it. I really, really appreciate it. It makes things, you know, much easier on me when I know what to expect. And thanks to what you guys tell me, it's been a pretty great adventure. And so far, you guys haven't let me down, you know, and I don't expect you to. So far, things have been going well. What the heck kind of Pokemon is this, by the way? It honestly looks a little bit psychic to me. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for the surf. Oh, mother fudge. It was psychic. Oh, my gosh. Why don't I listen to myself? 
You know, they say that when you like take an exam or anything like that, you should always listen to your first choice. So let's say you're taking an exam and you look over a question and you're like, oh, I think it's B. So you jot down B. And then, you know, a couple questions later, three or four down, you're like, wait, I think that question was actually C. You have a better percentage of being right by going with your first one than with your second one because the second one, you're kind of like second guessing yourself. Fun fact for you guys that, you know, I thought you might enjoy. I don't know. I kind of enjoy facts like that. Leave me alone. I, I like dumb facts. All right, let's go for the surf. We're going, of course, against a dragon flying here. I forgot to teach Ice Beam to Zula. I need to do that. I'll definitely do it before the Elite Four. Um, so no worries in that department. Oh, our special attack fell. That's fine. I'm going to use Skull Bash. And now we're just going to be super steroided. Sweet. There we go. I like how Skull Bash... Makes us tuck our head in. Get it? Because we're a turtle. I don't know if, if you guys realized it, but I'm just glad everything's going well. Okay, guys. Let's continue going then. Please take it down right now. You know what? That did a lot more than I expected. In all sincerity, it did a lot more than I expected. Crap. We're down. Okay. Who am I going to send down to take down an Altaria down? And I'm going to send out Fox. Fox hasn't seen that much action today. Kind of been surprised. It seems like everyone else has been... Taking the limelight, the spotlight. Let's go for the psychic. Hopefully, that'll take down this Altaria. You know, I'm just trying to continue on. And oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now, Serena? How much is that? That's all that did? Really? Wow, I was expecting that to do a whole lot more damage. I'm also surprised she didn't use freaking something to heal up her dragon type there. All right, this battle's going... Really well in our favor, I suppose. Next up is a Greninja. Oh my gosh! We are gonna sweep her team! Well, not... Never mind. For some reason, I thought... Okay, I'm switching out. Alright, come on out, Rio. For some reason, I was thinking Greninja was a bug type. I don't know why. It's been a while since I played X. I was thinking Sheninja. You know, that bug thing. I don't even know what I was thinking there. Holy crap, that did a lot more than I expected it to. But let's go ahead. Oh, I already used my Mega Evolution. That's fine. We have close combat. I doubt the Dark Pulse will take us down either. Oh my gosh, was that a crit? I'm not even sure, but close combat, baby. Look at that. Aren't we glad we picked up that move? Pretty sure I am. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of happy with it. I'm excited that we picked that move up. All right, who are you bringing out? Serena, no, you guys are level. Ne yep, keep you keep leveling up while I'm talking. Ooh, nature power. What is that? Let's see. Maybe it'll be a good move for Nessie. Nature power. Eh, nope, nope. Not really feeling it. Not really feeling it. Uh, nope. Uh, keep old moves. Yes, yes. We're gonna keep the old moves. You guys also told me that Nessie's special ability uh, actually makes it so that. Ooh, who's coming out next? Uh, I think I'm gonna send out Saltar. Makes it so every move it uses is like an ice type move. So pretty sweet. I don't know if that works with like earthquake and stuff, but damn! Imagine if we could learn earthquake. We'd be absolutely just dominating. It's like earthquake. Oh, and it's a nice tight move. You're done. You're taken down. All right, let's go for the acrobatics. I love acrobatics. It's honestly, I think one of the coolest moves they've designed in this game. Like if you looked at the way moves go, it's just so sweet. Like watch this. Look, look at that. Oh my gosh! It makes me feel like I'm actually in the game. I saw this post that was like, it showed the timeline of Pokemon, how it went from like black and white and red and blue to 3D now. And it's like, you know, if we're in such a 3D stage right now, imagine what Pokemon's going to look like 10 years from now. You know, it could be absolutely amazing. Horn Drill, nice. I'll get rid of Thrash for that. In like 10 years, we could have like real life 3D Pokemon following us around. In like 20 years, we could have real life freaking Pokemon following us around. You know, it, it's kind of crazy to think about. That so much could happen 20 years from now. I'm guessing Pokemon will still be around So I'm just hoping that I can get myself a little Pikachu or you know a little Charmander Something like that, you know, that's my goal in life Maybe even a we got critted son of a mother. Maybe even like a little baby Lugia I would love to have a baby Lugia. I don't know about you But if you've seen that Pokemon 2000 movie where Lugia is like floating around with its baby Lugias What I would give in my life for a baby Lugia. Like, honestly, imagine that. Just raising that little thing. It would be cool, man. I don't even know. I think I'd have a blast with it personally. I'm gonna start out some arms against his Absol. It's absolutely doing some serious damage to us. Okay. Uh, I wish I would have healed up my Pokemon. It's okay. I'll heal him up after this fight. It's whatever. It's a it's a freaking, you know, it's it's a rival battle. 
we're supposed to take this much damage. All right, there we go. Absol's down. Only, well, was it only like Smarmus, Fox, and Nessie left? I think so. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Serena. So I still can't beat you. You know, it's because I met you that I was able to get this far. Well, our journey's not over yet. Who knows how strong we'll get? I know, baby. We got 6,100 for winning. It's hard to put a finger on it exactly, but I feel like you and I are alike. And that's why I don't want to lose to you. But I think the reason we're so alike is because we have so many things in common. I'm really happy that we're friends. Are we more than friends, Serena? You know what I'm saying? I'm renewing my rivalry with you. Friend zoned. Friend zoned. Since you're my rival, I want you to become a stronger and stronger Pokemon trainer. Well, it keeps getting stronger too, of course. I suppose the first step is mastering the power that comes from the bond between me and my Pokemon, just like you did. Do your best at the Pokemon League, an awesome trainer like you can handle it. Can I handle it? Can I handle you? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying that I'm about to get this Pokeball back here. Uh, and it's actually a quick ball. And what? Well, how far up are we? I mean, I didn't see me climbing a mountain. I went over maybe like three sets of stairs. Nothing crazy. Uh, let's head inside of this cave then. Are we close to Victory Road yet? Or to the Pokemon League yet? I don't know. I'm going to keep healing up. Guys, this is... This is seriously doing some work on me. I've been taking some crazy damage today. My blood pressure's up from climbing this mountain. I'm, 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 I got a shortness of breath. I'm gonna have to get an inhaler. You know, I actually, actually, I had an inhaler in real life like a little bit ago. I had this really bad cough. It was weird. I had this really bad cough like during December, like November, and like I had it for like two months straight, and I was like. Why the heck isn't this cough going away? Like, seriously, this is kind of weird. I went to the doctor and they told me I had, like, a seasonal asthma. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I've never had that in my life. And I'm, like, 22. So when someone told me that, I was like, weird that I would have it this year. Like, what could bring on... Oh! Okay, thank goodness. I thought we were about to battle that person. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Conco... Hey, yo, it's our buddy Girder. What up, Girder? Girder, thank you for saving our life. Okay, there we go. Now, hopefully this Pokemon Ranger doesn't turn left. If it turns left, I have the worst luck in the world. Nope, it's just going up and down, and I'm not about to do this. Um, crap. I don't know where I'm going, guys. We're gonna YOLO it. We're gonna... Did I do this correctly? No, flipping way I did. <gasps> I did it correctly. All right, but it looks like we have ourselves a battle. Okay, so hopefully only a couple more battles to go. I can't really tell you because, you know, I honestly don't even know where we're going. Um, okay, I think, did we just skip a trainer? I think that old man painting was a trainer. That's ah, okay with me. I, I don't mind skipping them. What the heck was that? Did you guys see that? What in the heck? What is that? I just had to check it out. I, whenever I see something like that, I'm going to check it out. Oh, it's just a Fero. Okay. I thought it was something cool. I thought it was something that was actually going to be, you know, like a legendary Zapdos coming out. A shiny Zapdos coming out of nowhere just to show us that it's around. And, and all right, I'm running. Can I run? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you, Fero, for showing me that maybe there aren't no legendary Pokemon in the Kalos region. Maybe that's not how things go around here in Kalos. Uh, where the heck am I supposed to be going? Okay, I think we're entering a cave now. Uh, okay, well, let's make our way inside then. Hopefully this is the right way to go. Um, kind of a little bit nervous because I'm not too sure where I need to go. Let me heal up our Pokemon. I know, I have to keep healing them, guys. Uh, it, it's kind of frustrating, but it's something that we have to do. Because if not, you know, we might be in trouble with them, honestly. It might, we might get into some trouble. Alright, let's head inside of the cave then. And we have made it to the... I'm just kidding, we're not even close to the... Oh, we are close. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this guy on probably one of those veteran dudes. Here we go
Alright, so there we go. We defeated that guy. I think we have another battle coming up, if I am correct. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and take her on too. Okay guys, so it looks like this is going to be the final battle before the Pokemon League, if I'm correct. So let's go ahead and whoop his butt. So there we have it guys, with that we have finally made our way out of Victory Road and we have made it to the Pokemon League. So this is it guys, this is where our adventure is going to continue. Next up we will be entering the Pokemon League, taking on the Elite Four and hopefully taking on the Champion. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. The adventure is just getting started. We are just about to go into the hardest possible battles. You know, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Just remember, if you guys have any tips for our little Pokemon for our squad, let me know. I'm going to see if I can train Nessie off screen and hopefully evolve it, you know, soon. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.